My name is Sheridan Wells and I attend Nandua High School. Anna Sexauer, Broadwater Academy. Cameron Evans, Stanger Combined School. Hannah Birch, Shinkatake High School. Caroline Williamson, Broadwater Academy. My youth tour experience was absolutely incredible. The best part was actually once I got comfortable with everyone and all the friends that we made. And I got to meet many new people, see many new things. Got to do a lot of things that I don't think I would have had the chance to do if I just went to D.C. on my own or with my family. It was like one of the best experiences of my life. I'd already been to the monuments and most of the museums before, but I'd never been with this group of people, and it just made it such an incredible experience. The baseball game was so much fun. I loved the Nationals. Um, we just all got to have a good time, sit with our friends, eat popcorn, <laughs> and watch the good game. My youth tour experience was amazing because I got to tour Washington DC which is one of my favorite places and of course I got to see memorials and a lot of heart touching places like the Arlington Cemetery. When you go there you still feel this vibe of how thousands, of what thousands of people went through. It was so much to see. We got to see a baseball game, the sound of music. Go on a cruise on the Potomac. The cruise on the Potomac was really, really fun. It was really relaxed when you were upstairs on the top deck, and it was absolutely gorgeous because it was right at sunset. And then as you went down, you got into the big party atmosphere, and everyone was dancing, and there was like not a care in the world when we were on that, that boat. My favorite part was actually going to the African American History Museum because it's only been open for so long, it's brand new. But I wish we could have stayed longer because there's so much. I had a great time, got to meet people from Alaska, Hawaii, California, Texas, and all over every state in the country. I met a kid from Alaska and he was really cool. I talked to him for like 20 minutes. And you know, you get to meet people from all over the country and learn about their towns and their lives and how different it is just from our little Eastern Shore. Meeting new people, that was the best part. The guy from Alaska said that 70 degrees was burning hot to him, so when he came to D.C. he was like having a heat stroke and we were all like, why? <laughs> and it was because he was from Alaska. Oh, and trading pins, that was, that was really fun too. Each state has their own pen and what you do is when you meet other people, you want to exchange the pens. It like kind of just gets you out of your comfort zone to just meet new people. So like if you're shy, like some people just came up to me, they're like, what state are you from? It's just like to, just to start a conversation. It was nice to get to see a Warren Reed Estridge's name on the Vietnam Memorial, for he was the only casualty in the Vietnam War here on the island. And it, it's like everybody goes to the Vietnam Memorial and looks for his name and etches it on paper so they'll, they'll have his name and, and be thankful for what he did for our island. And if I didn't go on this trip, I don't think I'd know as much as I do now about all the things that goes on in Washington. Our meeting with U.S. Representative Scott Taylor was very thorough. I was very glad I got to ask him the questions about education and it was interesting hearing the other people's questions as well and hearing his feedback it was just good to know that our representative actually cares about our opinions and the questions we have for him. That's also another thing you don't you know get to do every day just walk in and meet our representative but he sat us down in his office like he'd known us for our entire lives and talked to us like we were his some of his closest friends and it was just a really cool experience to learn you know, in private, everything that's going on in Washington and to have the reassurance that even though we're just kids, we still have a say in our government. He just talked about how he like still comes back to the shore and it's amazing how he can keep up with everything. Once we got in there, it was just um, really eye-opening to what all he does and how willing he is to help with your community. I had the preconceived notion that congressmen and your elected representatives just sit in their offices and you don't really ever see them, but he really made it sound like he was trying to help us with our issues specifically. Like Cameron, he visited Tangier multiple times, and if you don't know where Tangier is, like it's really hard to visit Tangier, and it just really means a lot that we got to meet someone that was so like 
genuinely invest it in our community. My advice for the next group of people is just don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone because I made some of the best friends that I've made in so many years and I just know that we're going to be friends forever and I would never have done that if I had just kept myself and just uh, done what I know. It's just like putting yourself out there and really experiencing everything to the fullest just makes the tour so much better because you can go and you can see the history and it will still be fine but if you don't have the friends to experience it with you it's just not the same at all I can promise you. I went to DC two months before and it was nothing like my youth tour experience. I had the time of my life at youth tour. If you get to go on the trip or if you get the offer you should definitely take it because DC is a great place and you're there for four days like some of us have been to DC but might have only been for one day and you get to do so much because you're with a group and you get to go to the capital, you get to go underground and explore. Really not something you should pass up on. It's a great opportunity to meet new people, meet your state representative, that's really cool. Going to tour all these amazing places and being able to come home and talk about it. And when you post things about it on social media, everyone's like, I should have applied for that. I heard it on announcements. I'm like, well, you missed a great opportunity. And it's, it's really fun. You should really apply. I've actually already recommended to like three or four of my friends that are underclassmen to definitely <laughs> do the essay even though it's not like assigned to us and it's extra work and I remember sitting in my room stressing over it but um, it's so worth it and you get to meet all these new amazing people and do all this cool stuff that you know you wouldn't normally get the chance to do so it's definitely an amazing experience. It's just the opportunity of a lifetime and you're so lucky you get to experience this. I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart to everyone that made my youth tour experience possible. Thank you a and Electric Cooperative for letting me go on the 2017 Washington Youth Tour. It was the best time of my life. Thank you to Butch Williamson and the whole board of directors for sending five kids on this amazing once in a lifetime experience. I would like to thank the a and Electric Cooperative for Letting me have this opportunity and a big shout out to Mrs. Patsy and Mr. J for making it the best experience I could ever have and I will remember it for a lifetime. I'd like to thank Mr. Butch Williamson and the board of directors and our amazing chaperones that went on the tour with us. Without them, this trip wouldn't have been possible. Thank you. This experience was life changing and I don't know what I would do if I didn't go. It's just. Words cannot describe how grateful I am to you guys for providing me this experience. I will forever be indebted because it was just the opportunity of a lifetime. I can't stress that enough, so thank you.